Hey guys, okay, the next step, just after um, registering an account, what you need to do is get some hosting. And the hosting company I normally use when I'm starting off is Daytana Hosting. That's how you pronounce their name. What happens is they provide good service and affordable prices, which is my favorite thing as well. Alright now, what happens when you actually get to the site? What you're going to be interested in is going to be um is going to be the personal hosting plans. Of course, they've got like um business um class hosting plans and reseller hosting, and they've also got domain registration as well. Um, but right now I'm only interested in the personal hosting. And the other reason, and the other thing is, you can see it says domain registration here. The reason why I didn't register the domain here is because of course it costs a little bit more, and um. Not only that, I prefer GoDaddy's services. Okay, and then I've got a few other options here, but I'm only interested in the personal hosting. And you'll see why in two seconds. Okay, right, this is this page for the personal hosting. And the one which I'm going to be choosing is the starter plan. Okay, you can see the space that it gives you, how much um, monthly bandwidth, how many email accounts you can actually do, autoresponders subdomains and so on this all is you the only thing that you're probably going to be interested in at this time is the main space disk space um tr monthly transfer and i think that's it really yeah that's it um of course if you exceed your bandwidth or you actually um exceed your monthly transfer you can always upgrade to the next the other plans if you wish and the whole idea of getting a cat like this is to actually exceed it so that you will end up going up to this the most the, as they say the most popular accounts okay now click on the order now section okay All right, now I'm in the members login area. If you don't have an account, I think they normally ask you to sign up by clicking this section right here. But as I am a member, I'm going to click on my details. Okay. Okay, and I click login. okay and what it's going to do is it's going to ask me it's going to say a few things up here which you should read through and of course then it's going to ask you for the domain name that you're going to be that you're going to be hosting here and in my GoDaddy video when I actually showed you how to register the domain that's the one which I'm going to be hosting so that will be Dwayne Blogs .com okay and that's a bit of um, the hosting plan which we're going to be choo which I'm choosing and the price of course I didn't say the price on the other one that's only fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents per year so I mean just to get when you're getting started out that is definitely the next best thing to free I mean of course you get a bit of support so this is why I've chosen them now it's going to ask me for my control panel username this is like to log into the back area of my of the account which I'm creating right now and let me just keep it simple and blog Dwayne blogs okay and it's gonna ask me for a password so let me enter what I want my password to be And then to confirm my password, okay, I think that's correct. Auto renew and length of service. All right, length of service. I'm just going to leave it at one year for now, and then auto renew. Um, sometimes I leave these checked. Sometimes I uncheck them. It just depends on. It just depends on what you choose to do. And as I said before, the whole idea is to exceed the actual trans the traffic going to your website. Well, that's my normal aims. That means my po I'm getting a lot of visitors and so on. But if it's just basic, if you're not actually looking to do that, you just want to have your page up and you want to have full control, you don't need to worry. 
Um, and as you can see here, it's asking for a few extra features like a, a unique IP address. Um, click the question mark to find out what these actually do. As you can see here, it's just popped up and shown me. And then there's like um monthly transfer if you need more um more bandwidth and a few other stuff. Well, all you really need to do is click the question mark. Tell the truth, I don't even know what half of them do. Um, and how did I hear about you? Um, well, you can you probably do need to put something here. Um, I'm user and list any co no comments. Um, tick here, yes, of course. You should read the policy by clicking on the link here, and then you click that. Okay, this on this video, I'm gonna use my PayPal. Okay, it says the auto renew options only available with my with credit card payment. But I want to use my PayPal, so I'm gonna have to take that off. Okay, now let's go. Okay, and my username. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, that's that should be right. Let me choose it as Wayne V. Okay. Okay, and hopefully third time is the charm. Let's go. Okay, yeah, that's all right now. This is a bit of information about what I'm actually doing. Okay, that is correct at this time. Yeah, that's all right. Those are some other email addresses which I currently have on my paper which my PayPal payments go through. Okay, method of PayPal. Okay. And let me continue to the payment gateway. All right. Now. Okay, what's going to do is give you a bit of information here. And if you're already a customer of PayPal, all you need to do is pop in your PayPal email address right here and then you'll be able to make your payment. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, and of course your PayPal password. And then you would log in. Okay, and the next step, of course, will be it's going to take you to the review page where it's going to give you an overview of what you're actually paying for. And okay, okay, and as you can see, there's a f little bit of information here, of course, payment, what payment for tells the personal um, what um, hosting plan you're actually going for. Okay, who who it is and the domain name which I'm going to be taking over there, and it's going to say who it, who they are. They're a non-US verified member. So what you really want is you're interested in them being a verified member. That means they've actually um had their information verified by PayPal by um through their uh, verification process, which includes calling a st um a landline phone number and a few other details. And of course, these are the funding options and all I need to do is click down here to pay okay and now you can see you thank you you've successfully completed your purchase from the what wh however you pronounce that they tan a host and the secure pay yeah and now all I want to do is click here to return to the merchant. Okay, and that's it.